Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and now we're going to blend colors. So I've made a rectangle, doesn't really matter what size it is. I'm going to control D and I'm going to make a duplicate of it, and I'm going to move it over pretty far. I'm going to make a duplicate, control D, and then move it over, holding down the control button when it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to make this one black and give it no outline. This one, I'm going to make gray, but then I'm going to hold down the control key and add more white, and if you look, it's gray 230, 230, 230, but by clicking on the white, I'm making it less of a gray at all times. So now we're like at 248. I'm gonna right click no outline, and I'm gonna grab these two. I'm gonna blend it 400 times between those two. And you see what I get? I get a, from dark to really light, Tell you what, we'll reduce it a little bit. Doesn't really affect the color. And you can actually see the blends when you move it. You can see the actual the lines. But if you're a laser engraver, this is one way you can do 3D. Now, this thing, we're going to make this thing, uh, because it's a blend, uh, there's a lot of your windows gone, but we're going to make this thing 10 inches. And let's make it two just for grins. Now, if we wanted to make this uh, blended in the middle, we can make our nudge factor 10 inches, control D and make a duplicate and nudge that over 10 inches. And then actually, and because it's a blend, we don't have our mirror tools. So if you go up to object and break the blend apart, now you get your mirror tools. We'll actually group this thing together. Control G. Didn't want to group the whole thing. And Control G. And I don't know why it's doing that, but because it's a blend. So let's go up here to object, break, blend apart. And now let's try to, you know what? We can probably should have moved this down and actually move that down. And then control G and group that together. Control G and group this together and then move it back. And then we can use our mirror tools. So now we have a blend that's going from dark to light in both directions. This is a really cool way to do 3D or a, what my mentor Roy Brewer says, a poor man's CD or 3D because this is going to barely engrave and then this is going to engrave quite a bit. And you can have a lot of fun by stuff like this. Uh, control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 90 degrees. And then you, you're you going to have something really light in the middle and of course you'd make it quite a bit smaller and make it quite a bit smaller and engrave that. And it's going to look like it's going to be really, really deep and then not so deep and then really, really deep. So it's, it's a good way to start doing 3D effects. And you can actually, you know, if you could reverse these colors, which I don't think you can under, um, yes, you can watch this. So we've got a, let's make this thing 0.75 big. And now let's change our nudge factor to 0.75. Now let's nudge this up 0.75 and go up to effects, transform, and invert colors. And if you did this several times, you'd almost have a, like a woven pattern. It looked, you know, like if you were doing it in a chair, that you look like it goes down and up and up and down. And you could keep doing that. Uh, I might even try this later. And I'm just duplicating it. Uh, and I mean, then just moving the nudge factor down. That would really be a pretty cool uh, 3D effect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.